Welcome back to another video. We are doing a quick walk around on another Odyssey, and this time this is the touring. So if you didn't check out my EXL video, link is above, and I'll also uh, put a link to the Sport Odyssey we did too. So we're looking at a 2023 Honda Odyssey. This is a touring and is an obsidian blue. This combination, a touring with the blue, is not too common here in New Mexico. I don't know about where you live. And the lineup touring is one below from the elite so the elite is the highest one so the order is ex exl sport touring and there's one more above this one which is the elite and we're mostly going to be comparing this touring to an exl which is technically is two below this but the sport is an exl i explained all of that in my exl video for 2023 all odysseys will come standard with led high beam low beam um, daytime running lights and fog lights and i know on the exl video i said that the turn signals are LED, but the turn signals are regular incandescent. So it's a regular bulb. Everything else is LED though. The first thing you're gonna notice on the touring from the EXL are the parking sensors. So you have sensors front and back. I'll show you guys in the rear when we get there. That's standard on the touring. Um, I believe you can add that as a accessory on the EXL. Don't quote me on that, but it's standard on the touring. Also the wheels is a huge difference. So the design is completely different from the EX and the um, EXL. And I know Sport get the blacked out wheels, but these are 19s and the EXL are 18s. So you get an inch bigger wheel. The Elite also will be 19. This vehicle still got to get uh, ready to get put on the line so it's all dirty. But you can see with this obsidian blue color. It's a, uh, you can see the sparkle in there. I don't know if you guys can see through all the dirt, but it's a dark blue. And the nighttime it almost looks black. And then when the sun hits it, you see that blue on it. Beautiful color. Compared to that white EXL I did, this blue has, you can just see, I don't know, I feel like there's way more reflection in this paint than the white. But as you get inside, you can see full leather seats where they're leather trimmed seats, leather wrapped steering wheel as well, memory seats. So these are all features you will have on the EXL. But as you get in here a little bit more deeply, you're gonna notice there's a few more goodies that the Touring has. Let me start this thing up, push button start that touring has that the EXL doesn't have. But for the parking sensors, you do have this little P button here. This will allow you to turn it on. And like I said, it's front and back. You do have a power tailgate too. You're gonna get all the EXL features, plus, like I said, the parking sensors. And this also has a built-in GPS navigation system. So you can see it's made by Garmin. It should load up right there. So that's standard starting on the touring. If you get the EXL, um, you have an Apple CarPlay, you have an Android Auto, but you don't have the built-in garbage navigation system. Also, what's standard on the Touring is this AC um, household outlet here. And you can actually plug something in there and it's 150 watts max, which is pretty cool. So standard on the Touring, I know I kind of went past the Blu-ray uh, display, but um, you do have a rare entertainment system that starts on the Touring too. And this is probably a reason why most of you guys are probably going to go with the Touring is for the rare entertainment system. And uh, speaking of the rear entertainment system. You also have cabin watch, which is a feature that allow you to view the second and third row while you're driving. And what's cool is this is also an infrared camera. So at nighttime, you can see in the night pretty much. And you can zoom in, you can see if the kid's picking their nose or something like that. You turn this on while you're driving, you know, you don't have to like turn back like, hey, stop, stop throwing Skittles or whatever. <laughs> whatever your kids are doing back there. You can actually see what's going on and then you also have a uh, cabin talk, and this will allow you to talk to your kiddos while they're wearing their headphones. So if they're watching their entertainment system and they have the headphones on, you can turn this on and talk to them through their headphones. If you do get the Elite Odyssey, then you're able to talk to them through their headphones and talk to them through an intercom. So when you turn it on, when we do an Elite video, I'll show you guys. You'll be able to talk through the microphone and the speakers back there will enhance your voice so the kiddos back there could pretty much hear you and that way you're not screaming like sit down or we're not going to McDonald's or whatever's going on back there, pretty cool. So let me go back there. And then this is all configurable so you can hold and drag ops, drag ops, drag, <laughs> drag apps. I listen to much drill music and um, can move things all around if you wanted to. And then with the cabin talk too, you can go to it by itself if you didn't want to uh, use the, the cabin watch a combination as well. One thing the Touring will give you that the EXL doesn't have is a built-in Wi-Fi. So you see the AT&T hotspot there. And AT&T will give you like a free trial when you buy your vehicle to try it out. But then you can 
do like a monthly payment thing, you know, like a subscription with AT and T, and you can have Wi Fi built in the Odyssey, which is pretty cool. So you go somewhere with no reception, at least you can have laptops and iPads and all the devices kids have nowadays can have Wi Fi, so they can play Fortnite and watch YouTube and all, all that good stuff. And then you have the rear entertainment system button here. So here you're able to view different options. You do have an HDMI port in the back, so we're gonna go look at that. So we'll show you guys that you can watch something on the screen. Um, you have a Blu-ray display that we kind of went over, and then you have the iHeartRadio and Spotify. Now, when these Odysseys first came out, um, you were able to stream like PBS Kids and I think like Fox Kids and all types of stuff, but I don't know if Honda and and um, those uh, companies didn't have an agreement and those are, don't they're not available anymore. I don't know if it's just for 18 and 19 and it went, went away for 20, but I remember when these first came out, that was an option, um, but you can't do it anymore, so whatever but it's cool because while you're in the red entertainment menu you can go directly to the cabin talk and you can power the, the rear screen on and off and what's now playing but while we're on this menu let's actually go to the second row so you guys can see what the screen looks like all right let's go to the second row so the middle seat is in the trunk so i'll be able to show you guys magic seating because i didn't get to show you guys how the magic seat works in the exl video but I just want to show you guys the red entertainment system. I believe this is like a 10-inch display. The Taurus will come with one remote and two uh, wireless headphones. And you can also download cabin control to your phone. And your phone can be used as a remote to also control the screen. But this will pretty much show you the same features that was on the list. Actually, you can see the list still right there. So you see the blue, the Blu-ray, HDMI, Spotify, and all that good stuff. It's pretty much on here too. And then if you look down here... Here's your HDMI port, and you also have two USB A's. So no USB C's in the Odyssey's, maybe in, in the future, but uh, you do at least have an HDMI port and a USB. So you can actually have like a PS5 plugged in here, and you actually can play video games on here, which is pretty cool. Now I know nowadays most of the younger kiddos prefer to have tablets, and they usually have their own tablets. So if you have like three kids, all three of them probably have a tablet, probably not gonna look at this, but it still comes in handy. Um, to have it and then that's the camera for the cabin watch up there and then let's jump out for a quick second so sh i can show you guys how the magic seat works so you take the middle row out in the row so the middle seat out let me show you guys how the magic seat works so take the seat out of course and then you have these handles right here that you squeeze and then you just push and then it'll allow you to slide the seats however you want them so you can configure them to be captains only or they can be like this where it's a huge opening to get to the third row Especially if you fold this forward, like, look at that. With third row SUVs, you know how much of a pain it is to get to third row, but if you have this configuration like this, this is like an old school minivans. I don't know, if, some of you guys are probably older watching this, so you probably remembered when minivans had one sliding door and the seats were just kind of set up just like this where you don't move. So you can have that same configuration. And then let me get back here, show you how easy it is to get back here, super easy. Um, one thing about the Odyssey is the third row is adult friendly, so you will have some leg room behind you, and I believe this seat can actually come back some more too, which is pretty cool. And I still got plenty of inches back here, and look at this, and plenty of headroom as well. And while we're back here, you do have a headphone jack with a volume control and a power outlet, and this is actually new for 23. You have a USB A port back here. And, um, oh, damn, okay, you got two headphone jacks back here. So even though this vehicle comes with uh, two wireless headphones, if the two kiddos right here are watching it, the screen, whoever's sitting back here could plug in and listen to them as well. So you can have four people listening to that while everything's all quiet. You're up front listening to your music or what's going on while you're driving or as a passenger. And also the touring does add a sunshade for the third row. Um, the EXL won't have the sunshade on the third row. EXL has it on the second row, but on the third. Also, EXL will have a power outlet, but it won't have a USB uh, port back here, and it won't have you, the headphone jacks back here too, because you don't get the rear entertainment system on the EXL. So this is the reason why this trim level is pretty popular, because a few years ago, you were able to get an EXL that comes with the navigation and the rear entertainment system. You didn't have to go to a touring. But then they ended that trim level and then just make that standard in the touring. So that's why this trim level might be important to you guys. But yeah, if you have it like all to the side like this, it's actually pretty cool. 
got map pockets on second row, just like the EXL. But look at this. Look how easy it is to get in and out. And I know a lot of you guys probably don't like the look of a minivan, but look how it jumped out of there with ease. Like, I'm telling you, minivans are just practical. I've talked to a lot of customers that had like five kids and they were like, oh, you have any pilot? I'm like, you should probably get an Odyssey because it's going to make your life super easy. Um, the kick feature where you kick your feet underneath the bumper is only on the Elite now. It used to be on the Touring. I think they stopped doing that back in 21 or 20 or maybe 2020. One of those years. Anyways, parking sensors in the back. So, you, like I said, your front and back. Um, the Odyssey does have a little bit different design. Like the the little black chrome piece over there is more black than chrome. Starting, I think, 21, I believe they made the changes. Because from 18 to 23, same generation, but Honda just changed, made some changes. You know, the different wheel styling, the bumper styling, the rear styling, the lumbar support on the passenger seat. Um, just a little stuff like that that's more standard. And even the seats themselves with the with the piping stitching, this is specifically from the 22 to 23s as well. But yeah, middle seat is back here. You can see how it looks. It doesn't have a storage for it to go. So it's either you're gonna leave it back here or leave it at home. But at least you have some additional storage back here. L little door over there. You have your funnel for your capless filler in there. And then you have a power outlet back here too. And tailgate is adjustable, just like the EXL, which is pretty cool. And you see a touring badge in the back. So if you get an EXL, you don't get no badge. You only get a badge if you get, a, I believe, Sport, Touring, and Elite. And you can see it beeping at me like, hey, Odyssey is running. What are you doing? You are walking me with the keys. For Obsidian Blue, I don't think Honda charges you for this color. Yeah, they don't. So you can see here is the 2023 Obsidian Blue Pearl. And Obsidian only comes with gray interior, by the way. And MSRP is $45,895 for the Touring for 23. I don't know if that will change or not. I am recording this in January. Like I said, we haven't had an Obsidian Blue Touring in a long time. Um, mostly, you'll probably see white or silver or gray. Um, Obsidian Blue is not an easy color to come by. Or the Pacific Pewter or I think Forest Mist. One thing I forgot to mention on the rear entertainment system here, since you do get the rear entertainment system, you also get a app called How Much Further app. So I'm gonna show you guys how it works. So let's say you have a destination in your GPS and let's go to navigation, let's go to Best Buy or something like that, I don't know. Actually, no, let's go to, where do kids like to go? McDonald's? McDonald's is bad, eats. Let's go to McDonald's. And let's say you put in a destination and you hit go and you're on your way to the destination. Please drive to highlighted route. Oh yeah, she is loud. All right, so we're on our way to McDonald's, right? So you go to Rare Entertainment System and then you have the how much for the already. You click on that. And when you have your destination in and you have that app on, you're gonna see this here. And this is actually pretty cool because it gives your kiddos back here a picture of the Odyssey how literally how much further to your destination and that's the finish line right there and this, this pinball will go all the way to the finish line which is pretty cool and you have these little arrows right here because you could change it to like aliens and like a western theme or this theme and even oh you even got the time on the bottom i don't see that but it, it teaches your kiddos time and distance and it's cool because like you know it's cute with little cartoons and stuff like that and it's so funny honda call it how much further I have. that means your kids don't have to ask you um, are we almost there? How much? You just put this on so you can watch it to see um, how much further to get to where you need to go. So that's also standard on the touring. Which is also, what's new, I believe they started some 22. Maybe 23. Not too sure. But if you turn off, if you reach your destination. Actually, let me turn off the navigation. If you reach to your destination and uh, you turn the Odyssey off, for example, like, like this. It'll give you a check your rear seats reminder. Also, if you turn off the Odyssey and you're about to leave and you, the Odyssey noticed that you had passengers in the rear, the cabin watch will turn on and it will tell you, give you a reminder to check your rear passengers or check their seat. Make sure you don't forget your kids or your dog, which is pretty cool. So that's new with the seatbelt reminder as well. I mean, it's sad that companies have to add that nowadays. But yeah, it's crazy. You gotta remind parents to, hey, don't forget your kids. They're in your back seat. But um, that will be on the touring, which is pretty cool that it uses the cabin watch together with the seatbelt reminder. Another thing the touring will have that the EXL won't have is Honda Link. 
So with Honda Link, you can download it. It is a yearly subscription. Um, when you buy your Odyssey, you do get a free trial. Let's turn this back on, get the heat going. If I freeze, freeze in here. But um, you get a free trial. Now you do have three different options. There's one where you can have a, a concierge. So like uh, someone that's always there to help you plan, make appointments for you, set reminders, all types of stuff like that. Um, you also have a package where you can lock your Odyssey from your phone, uh, start your Odyssey from your phone, send navigation um, information to your navigation information on your Odyssey from your phone. Um, that's actually pretty cool. It's, it's separate from cabin control. Uh, cabin control comes with the Odyssey no matter what. You don't have to pay for that. But with the Honda Link, it does have a subscription. But that starts on the touring and has it on Elite. You made it far. I appreciate you. So we're on the trim walk. We're on the touring Odyssey. And when I do the trim walks, when we kind of go over the trim walks, I'm also going to add in all the colors and stuff too. I'm going to show you guys the combinations. Pretty much the touring is an upgrade from the EXL. And make sure you check out my EXL video. Um, we went we went and look at one of those. But kind of sum everything what the touring is going to give you over the EXL. Built in navigation system, rain entertainment system, the how much further app I was telling you guys about, the cabin talk. Um, let me see a household outlet in the front, HDMI ports in the second row. You have 2.5 USB A's in the second row. And you also have two in the third row, oh, one in the third row, two in the second row. Got it, got it, got it. 19 inch wheels, all season tires, front and rear parking sensors, body colored side sills. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even mention that. Cabin watch, Bracy monitor, Honda Link. Integrated sunshade, second and third row, Wi-Fi built in. So that's pretty much what the touring is going to give you on top of what you already have in the EXL. And then, like I said, there's one more trim above on the Elite. But when we do the Elite video, then we will um, focus on that. I'm on Honda's website where you can actually build any vehicle you would like. But we're going to take a look at the touring. And you can see 280 horsepower, V6, powertrain is standard on all of them. Now, here's all the different colors. So... You have black, you have silver, and modern steel, obsidian blue, what we looked at today. Here in New Mexico, this color is really rare. I don't know where you live if you see these pretty often, but I can't even count my fingers how many Pacific Pewters I've seen came in brand new. And 23, I don't think I've seen the 23 one came in yet either, because this color's been around, but super hard color. White, of course, radiant red, and sonic gray. Now, depending on the color you choose, for example, silver um, give you different color options so you can have the mocha or you can have the gray which the mocha is actually pretty cool it's it's a it's a little bit darker brown than this in person you guys see it in person but the mocha is pretty cool yeah so silver and mocha if you do the gray it's either black or gray so you don't get the mocha on every exterior color i think this is only gray yeah obsidian blue if you do the pacific pewter black only let's see Oh, it was mocha only. Interesting. And white, you get two, two options. Like black or beige. So no gray or no mocha and white. Okay. And uh, we have two more colors. So radiant red. I'm assuming it's gray. Oh, it's beige. And sonic gray. This is gotta be black. Yeah. Okay, boom. So yeah, so kind of going back over the current MSRP. It is 45, 945 for touring. For the, for the one we review. Um, mine does have uh, a protection package on it, so it'll be a little bit more than MSRP. But all Odysseys will come with the Honda Service Pass, which is the two-year complimentary uh, maintenance plan. Oil changes, tire rotation, all that good stuff. I'm assuming the 24s is going to come out pretty soon because last year, the 23s came out early 22. And then 21, the 22s came out early 21. So um being that we're in february i'm assuming the next few months we should start seeing 24s not sure if there's gonna be a redesign usually when honda has a before they do a redesign they come out with a special edition so they came out with this sport trim so i don't know if this is meaning that honda is gonna uh, release a 20 a complete redesign for 24 or for 24 it'll be the same design but they're gonna release a special edition and then after the special usually when you see honda release a special edition the next, the next generation of that year is going to be a new redesign. That's why with a 22 Pilot, it's a special edition, and now for 23, boom. Um, for 22 Accord, there's a special edition, now for 23, new generation. 
Um, they didn't do it with the Civic. With the Civic, they released the Sport, and then there was no special edition. But I don't think they've ever done a special. No, they have done a special edition on the Civic. I think 2015, they had a special edition Civic, and then for 2016, it's a new generation. So, but for the previous, for the 10 Gen, they didn't have a special edition before the 11 Gen came out. So I, I don't know. So we're just gonna have to wait and see. If I get any information, I'll let you guys know. Make a video, of course. But I'm in everything here. Thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys in the next video.